Hello there everybody and welcome back to the review channel. Now um, I know I haven't done this in a while and uh, yeah so in order to bring back the series and kind of revitalize it in a way let's bring in our first double review in well in the history of this channel. So without further ado here are the Bandai 2000 versions or the only versions thereof. Alien Bolton from, or just Bolton from Ultra Fight, and Alien Bolton Jr. from Return of Ultraman. <laughs> now, uh, as a clear warning ahead of time, I bought uh, Alien, uh, I bought Jr. here from, uh, from a junk shop, basically. <laughs> so um, he didn't come with a tag, and he was in pretty worn condition. While I bought Bolton from Ultra Fight, new, and he's been quite the star on my channel recently. So. Uh, yeah, here are, is the tag for the Ultra Fight Bolton, and since I'm bringing this out, let's start with him anyway. Okay, just get Bolton Jr. out of the way first. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing this review as a double review, and that is the fact that Bolton, Ju uh, the Ultra Fight Bolton suit was eventually made into the Alien Bolton suit for Jr. So, that's the, that's the reason, that's the entire reason. Before, so before looking at the figure itself really closely, let's look at the tag first. So this is the only tag from the 2000 series that's for the Ultra Fight line, as you can see here, Urutora Fight, Ultra Monster series, and a very beat up looking Ultra 7 in his classic fighting pose. Here is a nice looking picture of Bolton from Ultra Fight, as well as the EX Barutan. See there is no Seijin, it's just Barutan. So he's apparently 50 meters tall, he weighs 15,000 tons, and he was born on planet Bolton. He has an EX figure, and uh, this guy took like 20 something dollars for me to find, so it doesn't matter. Urutora Faito. Um, some a little bit of history, he first appeared in uh, Ultra Fight episode like 100 something, well, some, somewhere along the middle of the series, so. But it was uh, Barutan Ninpo Sai Seven Ayabushi. Uh, he appeared for a while, so um, he was he was one of the key fighters, and his fighting history, if I remember correctly, was uh, 11 fights, six lo uh, eight, 8 losses, and 3 wins, or something like that. Uh, one more along those lines. So, that's the tag. Let's take a look at the figure itself. Bring him close to the camera. Uh, the Ultra Fight detail is actually pretty impressive on the figure. You can you can tell this Bolton looks like he's been either through a war or through the uh, through the washing machine. The figure is really well dented. I mean, you don't see all these creases and folds. The uh, the leggings they look really really awkward for being so smooth, but you know that's 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 another story. The feet look nice. They they're just standard boots, nothing too special. The armor or the little or the little the cotton pieces that they put on the actual Bolton suit. It's really the most impressive part. Even though it doesn't capture how loose the costume feel. If you've seen Ultra Fight, you know that this you know that the suit looked like it will fall apart any moment. Literally, it looked like it was it looked like it was just literally just draped over a clear black just draped over a black bodysuit. The claws or the literal boxing gloves look nice. And they work pretty well. You can have them punch people. It, it makes sense. These are blunt instruments. The face is also done very well. It's my favorite. This is my favorite Bolton, you know, from anything. And uh, the face looks nice. Uh, the whole needle thing, as we can see on Junior here, the whole needle thing wasn't on the original suit, so it really wasn't there. Paint job, on the other hand, would be a little weird. As you can see, he looks fine, you know, from far far away, but the problem with the figure is that uh, the Ultra Fight box set version got it right, uh, where he was mainly silver, but the thing that both the box set and this figure missed on is the fact that he had polka dots on his legs. But, you know, that's not too, that's not too much to worry about, I mean, the, I mean, the goldish bronze color that they put, that they did put on this figure does look nice for what it is. And since, and since most Boltons, including Junior here, have a lot of gold on, have a lot of silver on them, uh, I'm saying that the bronze looks okay. And sorry if my voice is really being deep. It's it's I have a cold. I have a cold in the middle of summer. Logic. So yeah, complete package right here. 
So besides that, let's get on to the next figure of this bunch, Alien Bolton Jr. We're going to do the uh, size comparisons together later on. So, Junior appeared in Return of Ultraman episode 41, as I remember, um, being a uh, being here to avenge his father's death because his father was the original Bolton, and uh, Ultraman killed him, and then he destroyed their ship and killed billions of other Boltons because Ultraman is the friend of everybody. Okay, so so this guy was. By far my favorite Bolton from the any you know serious Ultraman series, you know Ultra Fight, not serious. This is legit, you know Ultraman stuff. So, Junior was a pretty smart foe. Uh, I'm actually gonna get a history of Junior because he, besides just fighting, didn't really have a history. So let's get on with the history of Junior. Junior came to Earth as a meteor, he landed in a building, and then he spent the night turning the building into a giant robotic monster called Birugamo. And if I have money to buy the B-Club Birugamo, I will. So, he made, he builds it, Jiro happens to see it, Jiro being the kid from uh, Return of Ultraman, his, 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 uh, his brother and then his sister got killed by Nackle, episode 37, remember that? Not gonna get on to too much of it. So he sees this thing and then he's like, Go, go, I saw it, I saw I saw Alien Bolton. And he goes like, nah, nah, you're not you're not you're hallucinating. You're you know, screw you. Nah. And I'm not go anymore. I'm your older brother now, because your older brother is dead. So I'm taking over that position for you. So this entire episode was Go just being a complete dick and uh, not believing anything Jiro ever said. But besides that, that's about it. Um, Bolton Jr. really didn't make a whole lot of appearances and he didn't even have that standard laugh that the um, Boltons had from the Matango series. But his laugh was excusable and I, and I actually liked it. So, you know, besides all that, let's look at the figure itself, you know, in order to keep the review short. Uh, bringing in the Ultra Fight Bolton with it, you can see a lot of similarities on these two figures, mainly in the head, because the head was really what carried over. Uh, they look very similar, especially with the crown part. Um, there's obviously, there have obviously been some renovations here. They added some light bulbs here that made it red instead of the um, white or the gold as seen on this figure. They added the needle from before. The rest of the body looks very similar. They, they obviously made Junior a little more compact than, you know, his Ultra Fight brethren. The rest of the body, however, looks nothing alive, maybe for the ex with the exception of the boots. And the claws, yes, the claws look really different. You know, he's got... so one of the junior's major advantage, major um, significant attributes is the fact that he has smaller claws compared to the original Bolton, which I do not have because I thought the original Bolton was pretty silly of a character, and I actually preferred his later counterparts. Oh no, I insulted Alien Bolton on camera. I am going to get crucified. Uh, whatever. It's my opinion, and I have good reasons for that, but that's not here to talk. I'm not here to talk about it. Uh, so I put it back for a while. Let's let's take a look at the rest of the detail. Come on. So the rest of the detail is really good on this guy. Unlike the unlike this Bolton, which really didn't have a texture, it was just a bunch of crinkles and, and like wrinkles and stuff like that. Um, this Bolton actually has a really rough texture that's really reminiscent reminiscent of a lot of other Return of Ultraman figures. Which I don't really have any of. This is the well, this is one of the more finely detailed of the Return of Ultraman figures. I don't have Seagoras to compare, but I do remember handling Seagoras, and he had the same texture. The legs are very well done. They've got the gold stripes as per usual, but I don't know where all this silver spray on the boots come from. Other than that, he looks just like the uh, Bolton Jr. that we know, the pure black suit and the gold sprays with some silver here and there. And he looks nice. So apparently Junior is 45 meters tall, I didn't bother looking up his weight because really, you know, you know Ultraman weights, they're, 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 they don't make sense and they make the characters too dense to really even stand up. So let's just compare these two side by side. And uh, it looks pretty dang accurate, you know, they, they being, them being this, you know, the same suit. Uh, Junior is obviously a little bit shorter than the Ultra Fight Bolton, and that's expected because Ultra Fight's 50 meters and he's 45. Uh, they look 
They look very nice together. I'm going to hold this pose for a little bit because uh, if YouTube can make this the icon, then I'm making this the icon. Yay. Alright, we're done with that. So, let's start with the Ultra Fire Bolton first. Um, since he is the only one of his kind, I think it will be more fitting if we compare to him compare to him with another Ultra Fight monster. Keela! Oh my god, this does not work at all. Um, so, obviously, 4 inch figures don't work well with 6 inches, but you know, that's just for silliness sake. Uh, just to give you guys a good idea of what he looks like, in case you haven't seen my other video starring him yet, we're gonna put Monsarger here. Monsarger is oh, he's almost as tall Mons as Monsarger, minus these two little spikes up here. And yeah, I'd say it looks pretty good. Uh, for other common figures that we can use for uh, size comparison includes the new Black King. This is not the new version, this is the old version, but it's the same mold. Looks great. Uh, how about Earthtron? Yeah, Earthtron works too. Okay. Uh, last couple of figures. First of all, for all of you hardcore collectors, I finally have a, have a Sedora now, so... Okay. I don't know much about Sedora yet, I haven't done, you know, much about research on it yet, so, okay. And finally, for, you know, people who only have the Ultra Man figures, because I do know you exist, you know, there are people who don't collect the Ultra Monsters, they just collect the Ultra Man. I know you are a number, and I know that you exist. Here's just Ultra Man Jack, the standard Ultra Man. Okay. Swapping out Alien Bolton from the old front. Not, not, well, this one does it now. Swapping out Bolton, here are the Junior. Junior looks pretty good next to Jack, with the only exception being that Junior should be taller than Jack, but from my perspective, he's looking like he's shorter by a bit, but Jack's 40 meters tall, or something, or somewhere along that line. But this looks nice, they're, they're kind of staring at each other in the face. I mean, Junior was like, oh, 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 I'll, see you, I'll see you later, I don't give up. He was, you know, he was basically holding a necklace on Jack here, so whatever. Well, Jack tried to follow him, but he tried to run away, but yeah, I don't even know if he actually did kill him. And speaking of Jack, uh, let's bring in, uh, let's bring a couple of old Jacks. Put on um, him here as well, just so we can compare. Uh, Junior, bye. So, as we all know, there are multiple body types for the Ultra Axe. Uh, starting with Gaia, there was one body type. This is technically the Gaia body type with Dinah. Uh, under a squat position, they, it doesn't look that bad. They they look they look pretty they look pretty um they look they look pretty good together. You know, if I can make Dinah stand up. It's not. It's not. It's not the figure's fault. It's my fault because I'm kind of hand handling it. Now let's try the third. Let's try the fifth generation, or fourth generation old track with the new Ultra Brothers and the extended ankles design. Jack looks good standing next to him, but you and you know he would stand a little better next to Junior. Now this looks a little more like it because Jack was kind of semi squatting, you know. Not in the special Emirate pose, but in this class fighting pose anyway. Uh, just to bring in Dinah as a sort of um, comparison. The th fourth gen Ultra Axe are, are a little bit taller than the, thir are, are, than the third gen. I call these third gens because they're the Gaia body type. And they still look nice together. For Junior, we're just gonna, you know, rinse and repeat. Just do exactly what we did before. Earthtron. Okay, it looks great. Not really. Black King, it's still the run to the group. He's kind of a run now. Considering this from just beats him out in a lot of ways. Sedora looks okay, they're almost the same size. He's taller than Sedora. Kinda of, sorta. Of. We're just gonna throw in Patchimon for fun. Cause he's from because that's my channel mascot. Yep, 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 nah, nah, nah. Um Ultra Act, Ultra Fight, Keela, just for fun. Takong, just for fun. And finally, Mons Arger. 
and yeah, they they all look pretty good to get together with Bolton. I mean, this is just no, your another average Bolton figure. So let's bring the two of these guys back together. You know what? Let's give them both the uh, the more the ho 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 pose because I because I kind of like that pose. Looks like they're surrendering though. Mm. It's kind of silly. So, in the end, what's my complete analysis of this little package here? Um, I'm giving both of these figures uh, 10 out of 9.5 out of 10. I mean, they're not bad, they're not great, they're just somewhere in between. Uh, don't mind the pain and scratch on the eye, that's a little bit late for me to say that. Um, there's something wrong with both of them, but there's that's not too much to worry about. Bolton Jr. is a little on the short side. And the Ultra Fight Bolton has kind of a weird paint job. But besides that, they look great and you know, if you want to throw them around in the mud and recreate Ultra Fight or something, it's, they're perfect for you for the case. So I, do I recommend it? No. No, I don't. Um, I'm saying they're decent figures, but these are both EX releases, so unless you have the money to track them down, uh, I'd say stay away, stay away, stay far away. So, yeah. I don't recommend it, but they're great figures if you want them. Uh, let's let's show off the feet, you know, before before I end the video. Junior, they're a lot easier to see than you know the regular Boltons because he's got silver paint. Wolf, not sure. Let's spiral him around. Barutan, 1970, Bandai 2003, and then there's Bandai 2003 and Barutan Seiji and Junior, 1971. We're flipping him around for a bath shot. So yeah. Don't really recommend them, but hey, if you like them, go check them out. They're not too hard to find, or well, kind of, they're pretty hard to find, but you know, get them for under $15, and I'd say you have yourself a done deal. Yeah, this is the other night, sign now.